Hello and welcome to the WISIS Forum 2019. We are celebrating our 10-year anniversary this year. And as you all are aware, the WISIS process is built around the framework of WISIS action lines. And there are several components that make the WISIS process effective and inclusive. We are going to be talking to some representatives of the WISIS process today. And uh, the theme for today's talk is uh, aligned to the theme of the High Level Political Forum 2019, which is empowering people through inclusiveness and equality. Good morning, Sophie. You are the Action Line facilitator for Action Line C6 Enabling an Environment. Um, what role does collaboration in this uh, area play to ensure equality and um, inclusiveness? Good morning, Gitanjali, and thank you for inviting me for the interview. Indeed, equality and inclusiveness. We are in the age of digital transformation. If we want to bring in the bottom of the pyramid, everybody, have everybody connected, we also need to see how that connectivity can benefit them so they can be included in the digital economy. For that, ICTs are really the oil of the motor. It's the oil that makes society and the economies transform. And for that, we need collaboration. Collaboration across the partners, collaboration across the sectors, and collaborative regulatory measures, because that collaboration, the discussion and the talking to each other, and ensuring that together we find the innovative solutions to really include everybody in an equal way in the digital economy, it's a foundational element. Thank you very much, Sophie. Of course, collaborations, partnerships, networking for win-win situations is the key for WISIS Forum. Uh, now we are moving to our Action Line facilitator uh, for Action Line C2, uh, its ICT infrastructure. Uh, good morning, Desiree. Uh, my question to you would be, what are the new technologies uh, that are emerging to ensure equality and inclusiveness in this area? Good morning, Sanjari. Yeah, the technologies are improving, as you, uh, you have noted. Uh, after 10 years uh, anniversary of the WISIS, we are uh, doing some really improvement in terms of uh, broadband. Uh, broadband, if we go to rural areas, that's where really we make an impact and uh, uh, the inclusiveness can be a reality. So new technologies, we have broadband technologies, this includes many standards developed by our, our uh, department in, uh, in ITUT uh, on optical cables, low-cost optical cables, and also other broadband technologies uh, which are standardized, other not standardized, uh, like DOCSIS, but also uh, 5G coming uh, in, uh, in, in operation these days. And this really will make a difference. But the key issue here, uh, we need to have clear policies on broadband, also business model. The business model which can be sustainable, even on, uh, in uh, rural areas. Thank you. Thank you very much, Desiree. Connecting the world, especially the rural areas, is crucial for the Action 9C2 in ICT infrastructure. Um, we have here with us today also uh, uh, our regional representative to give us a regional perspective of why it is important to implement WISIS action lines at the regional and national levels. Good morning, Yaroslav. My question to you would be, um, how can we strengthen regional cooperation uh, for uh, equality and empowerment of people? When the global leaders agreed uh, on the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, all countries committed to achieve uh, SDGs by 2030. And also, in line with this change, the UN system is adapting and to make sure that the real impact is happening at the national level and that the real action is happening at the country level to address the challenges of the countries. Uh, this is the reason why the WISIS framework is so important uh, for assisting the countries in strengthening and amplifying the impact of the ICTs on SDGs. A lot of discussions at the national level are happening in the field of health, education, governance, 
but more and more we are hearing that the ICT is this in central point of all those um, projects and therefore uh, here we're coming to the need and necessity of alignment of the WSIS process with the SDGs and more importantly on strengthening the regional implementations. This is the reason why the all action line facilitators are so eager to work together with the economic commissions um, of the United Nations and to make sure that the ICT component is very strong in the regional development uh, for us, uh, that the ICT component is uh, essentially uh, the most important component in the all uh, UN um, development assistance frameworks, which now are rebranded, but still are focusing on the addressing the national uh, challenges. Of course, there is plenty of different uh, national initiatives, uh, projects, uh, supporting the, the countries, um, but we are working with the all UN systems and sister agencies to support uh, the all uh, countries at the regional level. Thank you very much, Yaroslav. Uh, regional, national, and international uh, collaboration, in fact, is very important for the success of the WISIS process. And here at the WISIS Forum, mm -hmm. we have more than 3,000 stakeholders who represent the WISIS stakeholder communities from all these different stakeholder types. Um, a very important part of the WISIS process is also the partnership on measuring ICT for development. And uh, this is uh, facilitated by a group of UN agencies. We have a representative from uh, the partnership, Ms. Esperanza. Um, Esperanza, what role does the ICT for uh, uh, the measuring uh, partnership for ICTs play in ensuring equality and empowering people? Thank you, Gitanjali. So the partnership was formed 15 years ago with its original objective of improving quality and, and quantity of ICT statistics in countries. So we have been very involved in ensuring that this goal is achieved first by assessing the monitoring of the WISIS targets where we look at the WISIS target indicators that were um, defined a few years back when WISIS just started. But most uh, recently, we had embarked on a work through our task group on ICTs for SDGs where we are defining indicators that could be used to monitor the implementation of uh, the SDGs. So what will be the role of ICTs in achieving the, the SDGs? And through this work, we have come up with a number of indicators which we presented actually in the session that we organize on Monday, which is open to all WISIS stakeholders. They can provide comments to this list of indicators with an objective that the implementation of uh, the SDGs could be speeded up by the use of ICT. So we want to measure how ICTs could be instrumental in uh, achieving the SDGs. So that is the, the current work that the partnership is focusing on. And we are counting at the different WISA stakeholders to provide comments to those indicators and to use them when those indicators are available so that they will be able to assess the implementation of the SDGs. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we heard from all our representatives that uh, ICTs are crucial to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals and different processes within the World Summit on the Information Society are working to ensure that the implementation activities are impactful. Thank you and wish you a great day.